Sea turtles are important marine creatures that help to conserve the sea. Their presence in a particular ecosystem is an indication that the habitat is healthy and endowed with fish. Turtle watching by tourists is said to be a multi-billion dollar industry globally. GBC 24's Fanina Ampong was at Cape Coast in the central region where sea turtles, which were a common sight along the beaches some 12 years ago, are now scarce due to human activities. 100 million years, sea turtles have covered vast distance across the world's ocean, filling a vital role in the balance of marine habitat. Their habitats are mainly open water and coastal areas. Over the years, Human activities across the world have tipped the skills against the survival of these marine creatures. Although sea turtles can be classified into seven species, research by the Worldwide Fund for Nature, WWF, has categorized them into five, namely green, hogsbill, loggerhead, leatherback, and oliver ridley. Currently, nearly all species of sea turtles are classified as endangered. They are slaughtered for their eggs, meat, skin, and shells. Sea turtles also suffer from poaching and overexploitation. They face habitat destruction and accidental capture in fishing gear. Climate change also has an impact on turtle nesting sites as it alters sun temperatures, which then affect the sex of hatchlings. In Cape Coast, known as a center of formal education in Ghana, Sand winning activities together with poaching has ensured that a few sea turtles left in the sea are not a common sight anymore. But saving sea turtles from extinction is the least of the problems of these fishermen. They told the news team that they have some problems of their own too. Sea turtles like sandy areas, so you will not find them here. But that is not their habitat. They only come to lay their eggs in the sand and go back into the sea. So I don't think sand winning activities are the reason we do not see them around anymore. Initially, there was an abundance of fish to the extent that even when we have not made up our mind to go fishing, a fellow fisherman who is at sea can signal you to come to sea. But for the past 12 years, this has not been so. We get sea turtles only when they get entangled in our fishing nets. Some people say it is hard, if not impossible, for the ordinary Ghanaian or the African to clearly see the correlation between sound environmental practices and their livelihoods. The issue of whale and turtle death has been making the news for the past two years in the country. Take Cape Coast for example. Resident wind sand at the seashore for sale, which subsequently pushes turtles from the seas, as the sand at the shore provides a conducive climate for the turtles. At Diako, a migrant fishing community near Cape Coast, the sale of the meat of the sea turtle is serious business. Called a hui in the fancy dialect, one turtle is sold for 40 to 100 Ghana cities depending on the size. And when it is cut into smaller pieces, one goes for five cities. The eggs, which are a special delicacy, are not for sale, but those who are able to lay their hands on one are said to be the few lucky ones. I have never caught a sea turtle from the sea before, but I like the egg because it tastes good. The taste is like cake and biscuits combined. Those who catch them sell a piece for five CDs. That is what I usually buy. Frederick Jonah is an aquatic resources expert and the executive director of Seafront Environmental, a not-for-profit organization that is committed to preserving marine resources. He shared with GBC24 the extent to which sea turtles are endangered in Ghana. It's terrible. Nesting, uh, poaching in Cape Coast is terrible. As soon as anyone sees them, the first instinct is to catch them and then kill them. Turtles are 
have very important ecosystem functions within the sea. Not just on as important as they are on the beaches, they play a lot uh, significant roles in maintaining the marine ecosystem. And without these organisms, without these organisms checking on the jellyfishes in the sea, checking on uh, the seagrass beds, then we are not going to have a stable ecosystem within the sea, meaning that our fisheries uh, resources will definitely uh, be, 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 be depleted. We also asked Mr. Jonah how promising the tourism potential of sea turtles are in Ghana, considering the fact that the existence is severely threatened. Uh, in areas such as Windeba, where the fishing communities have now understood the importance of uh, the sea turtles, uh, they normally have people, tourists coming all over the world, other places, just to come during the evening, patrol the beaches and then see the turtles. And they pay a lot of money to uh, the organizations, the wildlife division and then the, uh, the communities. So it is a form of, it can be a form of revenue that we can use, uh, that we can be uh, gained, can be gained to the assemblies or the areas that they come on board. Is there anything anyone can do to save our sea turtles? What should be done now is to engage people, to involve as many people as possible, to ensure that when these turtles come to the beaches, we are, uh, they protect them, they are not killed, their eggs are not taken away, their beaches are not destroyed. And then uh, within the sea, uh, we should also ensure that our fisheries uh, management policies are also uh, in line with conservation principles. Uh, the nets that uh, fishermen use should also uh, be sensitive to the sea turtles. The central region of Ghana is a notable tourism destination with its serene beaches, the Omina and the Cape Coast Castles, as well as the Kakum National Park. In addition to this tourism potential of this region, is a viewing of sea turtles by the tourists when they visit these beaches, especially those from outside the country. But the turtles are dying because in last year alone, over 100 turtles were killed in our beaches in Cape Coast alone. Fanina Ampon reporting for GBC24 from Jaco near Cape Coast.